Good morning. It's Thursday, July 27th, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Morning Prayer, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Your laws are wonderful. No wonder I obey them. The teaching of your word gives light, so even the simple can understand. I pant with expectation, longing for your commands. Come and show me your mercy, as you do for all who love your name. Guide my steps by your word, so I will not be overcome by evil. Laws are meant to be broken. So goes the twisted thinking of the outlaw. Yet, those who perceive themselves as uniquely qualified to judge the laws of God and man do not realize, or perhaps they do not care, that by ignoring how the Sovereign Lord has designed life to be a blessing, they are storing up misery for themselves and anyone who will follow their lead. Jesus, speaking to the religious leaders who were largely hypocritical impostors, said that they looked like big shots parading around in their expensive robes, but on the inside they were lawbreakers. Their hearts were set on their own will, not God's. Matthew chapter 23. Outwardly, said Jesus, you look like righteous people, but inwardly your hearts are filled with hypocrisy and lawlessness. The quote-unquote law the psalmist characterized as wonderful was what we commonly call the Ten Commandments. What makes them so wonderful is the power they contain to make life wonderful and a blessing to all who live within their parameters. Consider the outcome when we live God's way. Let's look at the Ten Commandments. Number one, no other gods. Life is better with focus, not a thousand different gods. Number two, worship God, not what he's created. Again, focus, worship only God. Commandment number three, keep God's name holy. Think of life without Hollywood's profanity. Hmm. Number four, Sabbath reserved for worship. We often forget important stuff or a routine that includes worship guards against slipping away from good living. Commandment number five, honor your father and mother. What you do is what you'll also receive, honor. Commandment number six, do not murder. Would our lives be better off with less homicide? Commandment seven says, do not commit adultery. Wouldn't trust be better than constant suspicion? Commandment number eight, do not steal. Would life be better if we could do it without locks on things? Commandment number nine, no false witness. If truth reigned, the courts would be empty. And commandment number ten, no greed for what's not yours. Would life be simpler if we were people of glad contentment, both for what we have and glad for what our neighbor has worked for? Now, that's the short list of benefit tracks that could make life so much sweeter. There could be volumes written on all the side benefits associated with living like God designed it, but the chief benefit of all is being able to approach God at any time of day with confidence that your prayers will be heard with heaven's favor. The value of having an up-to-the-minute relationship with the king of the universe is eternal joy. Knowing he loves you is wonderful, but sensing his presence because your heart is clean before him is abundance in all that makes life worthwhile. For you today, my morning prayer every morning tracks with the psalmist's thought, guide my steps by your word so I will not be overcome by evil. I want that more than life itself. If in this moment it was possible for you to have a house valued at, say, five million, and a chauffeur-driven Rolls Royce, and you've got three billion dollars in the bank, and you're elected President of the United States, all of that, or an up-to-the-minute intimate friendship with God, which would you choose? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.